And what we were finding is that the accelerator pedal was extremely sensitive. So when you would go to just barely, it felt like the accelerator pedal was almost sticking. And you'd go to accelerate, and then all of a sudden it would jump. And there was no easy way to do a slow acceleration with this Holly Terminator system. <laughs> octane garage we recently picked up this 1985 chevy blazer and it has a holly terminator fuel injection system on it very similar in technology to the sniper uh, and what we were finding is that the accelerator pedal was extremely sensitive so when you would go to just barely it felt like the accelerator pedal was almost sticking and you go to accelerate and then all of a sudden it would jump and there was no easy way to do a slow acceleration with this holly terminator system so we read up on some hacks and came up with a, a solution that's as simple as a little piece of metal that you can make in your garage. Holly also makes these uh, online. You can buy them for about $13 plus shipping. I have some links to that. So this has it set up to where all four barrels open at the same time equally. So when you accelerate, uh, it does not have a progressive secondary. You can get uh, a, another uh, device on the secondary that will make the secondaries more of a progressive and open up at about 40 to 50% acceleration. I thought about doing that, but this is a fairly small motor. It probably needs extra fuel to keep going. Uh, so I elected to try the simple and easy way that I can make at home, but let's get right to how we made this. Okay, we're extending the linkage for the actual um, accelerator pedal. Normally, the accelerator pedal would be pulling from this lower hole, so we're extending it about an inch. So we made a bracket. We actually made our first bracket. We made it where all the holes were straight lined up, and when I mounted it, uh, my accelerator cable would not reach to the top, uh, the top hole here. So I recreated the bracket. It does have a slight offset. Um, recreated the bracket um, with the holes further offset so that it would push this bracket further toward the accelerator, accelerator pedal. So what I had to do, if you'll notice, I had to offset the lower hole further this way, the upper hole further this way to give it more of a, a, a tilt back, and then I put this hole further to the right um, rather than having it symmetrical. So let's see if it fits. Okay, this little hack worked perfect. Uh, Holly makes a little piece like this, and I'll have a uh, part number in the description. But all I did was take a little piece of metal. Um, originally, my throttle cable would have come into this location where the bolt is. Uh, I moved it up one inch, uh, bolted in where my transmission uh, kickdown shifter is. Uh, as uh, I've noted, I had to offset these holes a little bit so the cable was long enough but it went up an inch and boy what a difference when I drive it and it works fantastic uh, we've done some accelerations around you know my biggest thing backing out of this garage I have a, uh, a little bit of a hill and every time I would go to hit the accelerator before I added this device it would spin the back tires up the driveway because it, it would not do an easy acceleration now every time I back up I can do an easy acceleration or I can light the tires up if I like but actually I do an easy acceleration backing up out of this garage. Took it out for a drive, works fantastic. I still need to adjust my kick down for my uh, uh, 700R. It's not kicking down as soon as I'd like, so that'll be in another video. I'm not sure why Holly didn't uh, do this out of the box. This is a Holly Terminator system, but it will work on the Sniper and another, uh, anything of the Holly uh, fuel injections where you're having a sensitive pedal um, issue. And it's, uh, it was a real annoyance, but now it rocks. Thanks for being with us at the Full Octane Garage. Come back and see us often.